Hungary has a long monarchist tradition that lasted until the Soviets occupied the country in 1944. During the thousand years, Hungary had some good and some bad kings. However, the question is, how happy were Hungarians with the Republic? The Communist People's Republic of Hungary is not the first time Hungary was proclaimed a republic. Following the murder of Istvan Tisza, Prime Minister of Kingdom of Hungary and revolution of leftist Mihai Karoi took power proclaiming Hungarian Republic in November 1918. This was happening at the same time as Romanian forces did attack on Hungary in November of 1918, seizing Transylvania from Hungary. Territorial concession was accepted and signed by Karoi. He also resigned. That's when we enter the bloody history of Bela Kunz Hungary's Soviet Republic. Social Democrat Sándor Gorboi was the official head of the government, but the Soviet Republic was dominated by communist Bela Kun, who was in charge of foreign affairs. With the promised help from Soviet Union, Bela Kun started a military campaign against Czechoslovakia. He also organized red terror in Hungary, murdering thousands of citizens, and then he entered the new war with Romania. In March 1920, the monarchy was re-established. However, it was kingdom run by a regent, as allies did not allow Habsburgs to return. Kingdom of Hungary entered the Second World War in 1941 as a German ally and ending the war after three years in 1944. Kingdom of Hungary was first occupied by Germans in March 1944, who started Holocaust of Jews organized by Adolf Eichmann. He was personally responsible for murder of 450,000 Hungarian Jews in period of April to July 1944. And then Kingdom was occupied by Soviets. In 1949, the People's Republic of Hungary was declared, ushering in an era of oppression and misery, which did not end until 1989, when the countries of Eastern Europe rose up to reassert their independence as the Soviet Union collapsed in on itself out of sheer Marxist incompetence. As with everything, the communists held power. Hungary had stagnated for decades and fallen far behind the standards of living seen in the countries on the western side of the Iron Curtain when, in the distant past, the Kingdom of Hungary had, at times, been more powerful than any of them. Many expected the return of monarchy with the fall of communism. However, it did not happen. Instead, the communist politicians continued working under a new name. In this weakened condition, the new, non-communist Third Hungarian Republic joined NATO in 1999 and then the European Union in 2004. However, there are still issues rooted in the communist past and traditions. Ten years ago, in 2012, Hungary dropped the Republic from its name and proclaimed communist traditions as unwanted. Hungarian presidents are elected in the parliament and the new president, Katalin Novak, was elected in March 2022. However, back in 2021, Oznali newspapers were inspired by the proposal of one member of the parliament who advocated that presidential elections should be organized after the parliamentary elections in 2022. And this did not pass majority. Either way, the newspapers created a poll that interviewed over 3,500 people and among politician names, they dropped Habsburgs as well. Surprisingly, Habsburgs won with 46% majority. 46% of the respondents voted to abolish the position of president and to change the form of government to monarchy instead of a republic in order for the return of Habsburgs. The most likely candidate for this position would be Karl von Habsburg, the grandson of the last Austro-Hungarian emperor and king of Hungary. Charles I. Karl von Habsburg served as the member of the European Parliament for the Austrian People's Party and is known for being pro-European and is advocate for pan-European movement. In the spring of 2022 in Portugal, Karl married Christian Reid, a woman of Portuguese descent, and she would be Hungarian queen in this scenario. Let me know what do you think. Would Hungary prosper and develop faster with king or queen as the head of state? 
neutral from the daily politics and advocate for the people. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps its growth. See you in the next video.